Now we begin with the news. Around 156 million people in Brazil are called to participate this Sunday's polls to choose the next president of the country between the former president Lula da Silva and the current mandatory Jair Bolsonaro. In addition to the head of state, voters will have to elect the future vice president, 27 governors, 513 deputies, 27 senators and regional deputies. According to the Brazilian Superior Electoral Court, the TSE, the polling stations started open at 8 a.m. local time and will close at 5 p.m. The Brazilian constitution establishes that vote is mandatory for every literate citizen born in the country or neutralized between 18 and and 70 years of age, while people with electoral presidents abroad will only be able to vote in presidential elections. Months ahead of the elections, former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, the presidential candidate of the Workers' Party, and President Jair Bolsonaro have been leading the voting intentions, according to almost all the surveys. Lula's lead over Jair Bolsonaro ranged between 3.7 and 16 points. If none of the candidates manages to surpass 50% of the votes, the second round will take place on October 30th between the two, two candidates.